Aki ma volt, hát a Fritz számát arra majd hallgatott a Fritz. You know, I like the look of packing trains. A house in preparation for a journey. Uh, you know, movement, progress. It makes me think of Africa. Africa? What kind of mood is this? Africa, he gave away the money. Who gave away what money? My brother. He gave away the insurance money that we had. Give it away? Man, he made an investment. Well, the man that Tracy you wouldn't even trust with her most worn out marbles. And it's gone. It's gone. I'm very sorry. And you now? Me? Me? I'm nothing. You talk about me. You know, when I was very small, we used to take our sleds out in the winter time. And the only hills that we had were some ice covered step stones and some house down the street. And we used to fill with snow and make them nice and smooth. And we used to slide down all day. And it was dangerous, you know. It was far too steep. But sure enough, one day, a kid named Rufus came down too fast. Mm -hmm. And he hit his head on the sidewalk. I can remember that day. <coughs> sitting there, looking at his bloody face, split there right in front of us. But the ambulance came, and they fixed him up. They sewed him right back up. And the next time that I saw Rufus, he had a little line down the middle of his face. I never got over that. What? What well, one person can do for another. Fix him up, make him all right again. I mean, that was the most marvelous thing in the world. I thought that that was the one concrete thing that a human being can do. You know, fix up the sick and make them right. I mean, that was truly being God to me. You wanted to be God? No! I wanted to cure. It used to be important to me. I used to care. I mean, about the way that people body hurt. And you stopped getting? Yes, I think so. Why? Because it doesn't even seem deep enough or close enough to even ails mankind. I mean, it's like a child's way of seeing things, or like an idealist. Well, children can see things very well sometimes, and idealists even better. I know that's what you think, because you and all your dreams and your talk about Africa, you think you can patch up the world, don't you? And you are that great sword colonialism with your penicillin of independence. Yes. Independence and then what? What about all those crooks and thieves and plain idiots who will go out there and steal and plunder? That'll be a problem for another time, but first we must get there. And where does it end? End? Who even spoke of an end to life, to living? An end to stupidity, to misery. I forgot there's no real progress here. We march around in one large circle, around and around, with our own little picture in front of us. All the future that we think is our montage. You see, that is the mistake. What? What you just said about the circle. It isn't a circle. See, it is simply a long line, as in geometry, you know, one that reaches into infinity. And though we cannot see the future, we also cannot see how it changes. And it seems very odd, but the people who can see the future, the ones who dream, those who will not give up, are called idealists. The ones who can only see the circle, we call them realists. Oscar, you don't understand. While I was sleeping in that bed in there, in that bed, people went out there and changed my future. Nobody asked me, nobody consulted me. They just went out there and changed my life. Was it your, was it your money? What? Was it your money that he gave away? It belongs to all of us. No, but did you earn it? Would you have had it if your father had not died? Hmm. <clears throat> no. Then isn't there something wrong in a house? In a world where all dreams, good or bad, depend on the death of a man? I never, I never thought to see you like this, Aleo. You, your brother made a mistake, and you're not grateful to him just to give up on the alien human race on the account of it? And you talk about what good is struggle. What good is anything? Where are we going and why are we bothering? And you can't even answer 
I live the answer. In my village at home, it is only the exceptional man who can even read a newspaper or whoever sees a book at all. I will go home, and the things that I have to say will, may seem strange to my people, but I will work and teach, and things will change slowly and swiftly. <laughs> and there will be times where I wonder if things will never change, and yet again, it is that one dramatic event that makes history leap into the future. And then quiet again, retrogression even, guns, murder, revolution. And there will be times where I wonder if the quiet was not better than all of that death and hatred. But I will look about my village at the illiteracy and disease and ignorance, and I will not wonder long. <laughs> and perhaps, Perhaps I would live to be a great man. I mean, perhaps I would hold on to the substance of truth and find my way always with the right course. <laughs> and perhaps for it, I'll be butchered in my new bed by the service of the empire. Hmm. To be their martyr. <laughs> or perhaps I would live to be an old man, respected and esteemed in my nation. And perhaps I should run for office. This is what I'm trying to tell you, Alejo. The things that I may believe for my country may be wrong and outmoded, but I will not understand and do terrible things to have things my way or to merely keep my power. Don't you see that there will be young men and women, not British soldiers, there, but my black countrymen, to step out of the shadow suddenly and to slit them in my useless throat. Don't you see that they always have been, and that they always will be, and that such a thing as my death will be in advance? And those who might kill me, you know, actually replenish all that I was. Asuka, I know all of that. Good. Then stop all of your mourning and groaning and tell me what you plan to do. <laughs> do? I have a suggestion. What? That when this is all over, that you'll come home with me. Jessica, at this moment you decide to be romantic. My dear young creature of the new world, I don't mean across the city. I mean across the ocean to Africa. Wait, to Africa? Yes. <laughs> 100 years later, an African prince rises up from the seas and swept his maiden across the middle passage to where her ancestors had gone. Wait, to Nigeria. Nigeria, home. I will show you our mountains and our stars, and I will teach you our old songs and teach you the traditions of my people. And in due time, we'll pretend that we've only been gone for a day. Say that you'll come. Uh, uh, I still got, I, I don't know what I think right now. I don't know what I feel. It's just too much has happened today. Why? Because, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. All right, I shall leave you. No, no, don't get up. Just. Sit a while and think. Never be afraid to sit a while and think. How many times have I looked at you and told you? So, this is what the new world has finally got.